today's video, I will be installing and styling this beautiful deep wave 28 inch wig that I received from Wiggins Hair. This is a 13 by 4 HD lace frontal wig and I love that they actually give you the entire 13 by 4 lace on this unit. This is how the unit looks straight out of the package. This unit did come pre-customized, pre-plucked, and pre-bleached. So I literally just took it out the package and installed it. I did not have to do much to this unit at all. With the initial look and feel of these curls straight out of the package and the HD lace, I just knew that this install was gonna be top tier. So first thing I'm going to do is cut the air tabs off on each side of the lace so that the wig can properly fit on my head. When it comes to cutting the air tabs, you want to cut or trace right above where your ear is at. Try not to cut too much. If you have to go back and adjust it and cut a little bit more, you can do that. But if you cut too much, then it'll definitely be harder to fix that mistake. Next, I'm gonna cut my lace into three sections and work on each section separately, starting with that middle section. And I'm gonna be using my Bold Hold Active Lace Glue. And I'm applying two layers of this glue so that I can have that secured install. So once the glue is nice and tacky, you wanna then go in and lay your lace down. What I like to do with my lace is make sure that the hairline is applied directly on top of where I applied my glue.
my elastic band and this is just to really get that melted lace look and to also make sure that the glue is fully dried and secured. I'm also going in with my blow dryer on the hottest heat setting and I do this process for about five minutes. Okay, so the elastic band is off and I feel like the lace so far is definitely secure the way I want it to be. So now I'm gonna go in and cut the lace off with my Kiss Razor and I do it section by section. and all of the areas that are slightly lifted up I'm just gonna go back in and completely melt that lace down to go back in with my elastic band because I'm so serious about melting this lace down <laughs> so I'm going back in with the elastic band and the blow dryer combo and I'm gonna do this process for another five minutes okay so I feel like the lace is looking good so far so for that natural scalp look, I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the color Level 15. And I feel like this product really seals like everything in when it comes to a natural looking lace. to get into our baby hairs. So this is optional, but when it comes to my baby hairs and like the hairline area, I like to curve my baby hairs out. And when I do this, I feel like it gives off that widow's peak type of look. Something about like that widow's peak look, especially on like curly hair, I just love it. So we are taking baby hairs out and I only like to pull out a thin layer, not too much. Even though like when I do pull it out in that curved, motion a lot of hair does come out but that is why i'm gonna go in and pluck my baby hairs until it is completely thin
went in with my mini flat iron to curl my baby hairs and this look really gives off that fluffy, natural, soft baby hair look. baby hairs I'm going in with my got to be insta hold spray and I like to just spray a little on my brush and then just go in I really like to apply the product at the top of the baby hairs and then just drag the product down a little bit I'm just gonna let y'all watch me do my baby hairs because I feel like this is more of like a visual type of thing to learn So now that we are done with our baby hairs, I'm gonna go in with my satin head scarf just to protect the edges while I go in and style this curly hair. So the first thing and really the main thing that I use for my curly hair is water. That's it, there's nothing else in the water bottle except water. And I'm just gonna saturate the entire hair with some water. And this is really all I need in order to form my curls. Before, when I used to style my curly hair, I used to go in with water, but I also used to use mousse as well, the same way I use the water. And I noticed that with the mousse, it kind of like, it doesn't give off that fluffy curl look, and it also like weighs the curls down as well. And after a while, it really just make the curls hard and a little crunchy. So I stopped going in with the mousse and I started to just go in with water. So after I spray my hair, I'm just going to take my wig brush and just go through the hair. You want to just keep brushing through the hair and kind of like curve the bottom area so that it can form like those nice ringlet type of curls at the bottom.
also like to do this little scrunch process as well because I feel like it also forms nice curls. So this is the only step that I use mousse for and it is optional as well. But if you wanna get those ringlet spiral type of curls in your hair, only in certain sections, I'm gonna go in with my mousse, pick up like a random piece of hair in whatever area you want to, and just take my finger and wrap the hair around my finger. And I love doing this step and adding this step to my curly hair because it just makes the curly hair look 10 times better. It just always looks so cute to me. Now it is time to let your hair dry and it's best if you let it air dry because it doesn't have any like frizz to it. Um, you wanna make sure that you do not touch it, run your fingers through it or anything. But since I am very impatient, I'm gonna go in with my hair diffuser and speed up the process a little bit. But I also feel like if you use a diffuser, the curls still come out very nice. taking my hot comb and I'm just gonna flatten the base of my wig just a little bit since it's a curly wig. I'm 
going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and the color Fawn to enhance my parting space. So now that the hair is completely dry, I'm gonna go in with my Chi Silk Infusion Serum. And I'm really doing this to add more of like a moisturized, healthy look to the hair. So here's the final look of this hair and I'm gonna be honest I have nothing but good things to say about this wig literally I don't I can't find anything any flaw to this wig like at all like the curls are just nice and soft and like you can actually see the curl form with this wig I love the lace on this wig this is an actual HD lace and I love that they actually give you the full parting space on this wig. This unit is 250% density and it's definitely true to the density. I love how thick this hair is. Even the back of this wig looks beautiful and it's no gaps between this wig. I really do love Wiggins curly hair. When it comes to Wiggins, they are gonna have nice curly units. Even my past units from them was always curly and they still last till this day. So I just expected nothing but the best with this company. Thank y'all so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video.